Gullo Jack, aka Counter Jack, aka Gullo Jack Pritchard, was an African conjurer and Methodist with Gullo Geechee ancestry. He was famously known for being a main co conspirator to Denmark Vesey during his slave rebellion. His date of birth is unknown, but he was a short man with bushy sideburns who was known locally as the man who can't be killed. This may have been because of the reputation he had as a powerful root doctor. He had the power to heal or the power to poison. Take your pick. He was also skillful at creating powerful amulets against evil. Gullah Jack was of Angolian origin. He was located in Zanzibar at the time he was shipped to the Americas under Zephaniah Kingsley. In 1812, Seminoles raided the Kingsley Plantation. Gullah Jack took this opportunity to escape to Charleston, South Carolina. It was here that he was bought by Paul Pritchard, who was a planter, slave trader, and merchant. Gullah Jack's name was cemented in history after meeting Denmark Vesey at the AME Church in Charleston. Vesey recruited Gullah Jack to be one of the main co-conspirators to a rebellion he was planning. Gullah Jack in return recruited African-born slaves as soldiers in the rebellion. Gullah Jack, being the conjurer man that he was, used his spiritual powers to compel others to keep quiet about the plans. He also provided the group with charms to protect themselves against the whites. The plot was for the slaves to take over the armory in order to supply the rural and sea island slaves with enough firepower to assist with the revolt. Killing as many whites as possible, the slaves were to capture the city of Charleston. From that point, they would use the city ships to sail to Haiti and be free of white rule. In the end, the plot was leaked by Curtis Confession. Gullah Jack was captured July 5, 1822 and along with 130 others were arrested. During this trial, he was accused of bewitching his accusers by making motions and designs with his fingers. Gullah Jack, Denmark Vesey, and 34 other leading co-conspirators were hanged on July 12, 1822. However, the part he played in the 1822 slave rebellion should never be forgotten. He's one of the many Gullah Geechee cultural icons and heroes.